MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the American League Championship Series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Cleveland Indians. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Well, here's a little comparison of these two teams. Looking at it earlier, to me, the story is all about the pitching. Both squads have some good arms, and the team that gets the best outings are probably going to come out on top. Now a moment as we take a look at the Jays starting nine for this one. Harold, what's the key for them against one of the best starters in the game? Well, the key to this game, Matt, is going to be the contributions throughout the whole entire lineup. You cannot rely on that key guy on the team, the big star. Batting third, designated hitter, Hank Given. Hey, your pitch, your pitch. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit sharply toward the right side. In is Batista, but this gets down a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Well, that's a line drive single, but the runner's not going to score. Now, remember, with less than two outs, he had the freeze. Hit it a little bit too hard at the wrong guy. He'll take the hit, but no RBI. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. This is skied out toward right. Batista has a read on it, makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. At the plate, Jose Ramirez. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. He's running toward second. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Upton is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Stepping in and ready for Alabama. another shot. Hank Gibbons. Hitter. Hank Gibbons. See it, drive it. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through for a hit. So that hit extends the inning for Carlos Santana. Well, that's good hitting. Oh, and oh, you want that fastball right where you're looking at it. Just take it right back at him. Nice swing. Digging in for his second at bat, Carlos oh, Santana. Baseman, he hit a sack fly earlier. Carlos Santana. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Runner goes for second. Pulled toward right center field. Pilar is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. The four pitching. Digging in to try it again. Oh, Hank Givens. A couple hitter. of singles to his Hank credit thus far. Given. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Bautista racing back at the track. He gets there, and that's the second out. Striding in once again, Hank Givens. He's looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Swing, and oh my, hit him with the high. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. His first homer here in the series. And the Indians have come back to tie things at three. I know I get big money for my expert analysis, but this is pretty simple. And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our top player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten.
And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Cleveland Indians take the 1-0 lead Final here in the league championship series. Tonight. So that's a wrap here tonight. Now from downtown Cleveland, MLB Network brings you baseball from Progressive. Rich Hill will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, his last outing, he scattered nine hits. I'm being kind. Give up nine hits in his last outing. I don't know what to expect this one. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, you now a moment as we take Brown a look at the Indiana. Jays starting nine. Batting third, designated hitter, Hank Gibbon. Yeah, good rip on it, huh? Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Travis gets down and dirty. Got him. Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play. It's Digging in to try it again. Hank Givens. Over one for him here in this one. Given. Come on, let it fly. First pitch of the at bat. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Ranging back is Pilar. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Two-run shot to straightaway center, his second home run of the series, and the Tribe have made this a 3-2 score now. I can tell you one thing, you might get away with throwing a ball now. Digging in and looking for more, Hank Gibbons comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First offering on its way. Ground ball to second. This could be two. A bare hand for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the end. Ready once again. Hank now Gibbons. Designated header. Hank Gibbons. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing. Hard hit ball to second. Travis fields it cleanly. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. And welcome back to 
Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, it's never easy to win games on the road, so they are very happy with this win. And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason, and that's exactly what this man did. He's our tops player of the game. And obviously, every game Fans is so important in the postseason. Tonight. So when you come... We are inside and under the roof tonight here at Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario. It's game three of the AL Championship Series between the Cleveland Indians and the Toronto Blue Jays. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Jay Happ gets the ball in game three of the series. Harold, any thoughts? Well, his last out and he did his job. I mean, he didn't give up a run. He did a nice job, gave his team an opportunity, and he picked up the win. So he is throwing the ball as good as he can right now. Now a moment here for the Indians starting lineup. What's this club need to focus on this evening, H? Well, Matt, they got a great pitcher on the mound. So to me, my philosophy changes when I know he's throwing. I only need a couple runs. So I get that leadoff guy on. I may move him up and drive in a run every time I get an opportunity. And then it just relaxes him on the mound as well, knowing into the box now Hank third, Gibbons the designated hitter Hank Gibbons he's ready here's the first offering hit hard to the right side and that's through for a hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now well that's a tough one right there if that ball's at somebody probably a double play but as a result it's one of those seeing eye singles just Nine found four. the hole first baseman Carlos Santana. Yeah, come on now, big guy. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Now a swing, and Santana hits this one high in the air out to deep left field. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Yeah, he's looked pretty shaky from the first pitch, and things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. Digging in for his second at bat. Hank Gibbons. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Lindor rounds third and is digging for the plate. The runner scores from second. And a relay home. The tag is there, and he's out trying to score from first as the second run. Ian's forced to Digging in and looking for more. Hank Gibbons. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Pilar going back. He's there to track it down and that'll end the inning. Ready for another chance. Hank Gibbons. Two for three with a double on his line so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. The second for one. Relay to first in time and just. Digging in to try it again. Hank Givens is doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. As a look, now the pitch. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field. And you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. That home run is definitely worth giving the show track treatment to. And as we look at it, not only an impressive distance shot, but the 110 miles an hour exit velocity is nothing to scoff at either. That's a 
Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is that they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor Final here, and it was pretty cool to see. For the victorious Cleveland Indians, eight runs on 13 hits. Two errors, they left 14 runners on base. For the Blue Jays, three runs, six hits, no errors. They left 10 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 34 minutes.
We are inside and under the roof tonight here at Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario. Aaron Sanchez is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, last game he pitched six full innings. He looked like he had good stuff. He didn't get a decision, but he gave his team a chance to be in the ball game. I look for a similar performance in this game. Now a moment here for the Indians' starting lineup. What's the key for them tonight, Harold? Well, Matt, facing a sinker baller, you got to think about get the ball up. What happens with the guy that throws a sinker? When you get it up, it straightens out. But when he's got that ball that starts about thigh high and starts to bite down on you, that's going to end up in the dirt. You're probably not going to be able to do anything with it. You go to the plate with the mindset of get that ball up. You set your focus on making bring that to the thigh high or First up, and you got a chance to hit it when Carlos it straightens out. Santana. Here it comes on one and one. And there he goes towards second. This is on the ground over to first. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Well, the runner was stealing on the play right there, and the batter gets a base hit. Now you got a runner at third base. I think he was stealing just to get in scoring position. This is even better. Now he's at third with two out. Batting fifth, third baseman, Jose Ramirez. He got him and exhale as he's out of the jam and he ready for another chance. Hank Gibbons, he'll be the one to lead things off now against Aaron Sanchez. Hard hit ball to second, and that is through into right field for a single. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. Well, here he goes again. Here's that guy, a leadoff base hit. He's having a nice postseason. He is really locked in right now. First baseman, Carlos Santana. Here's the 2-2. This is hit the other way out toward left field. After it is Upton. And that's the first out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Digging in for his second at bat, Jose Ramirez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This is pulled into right, but this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. Look at our up to the minute playoff tree. And as you can see, it's all over in the senior circuit as the winner of our series here will square off against the L.A. Dodgers in the World Series. And there are certainly plenty of storylines there. Throw over to the bag and a dive, but he's back in. No runs, four hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Runners on the move for second, but he won't have to worry about a throw. Ball four. First and second now with two away. Riding in once again, Danny Valencia. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Aggressive lead from the bag at second. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball. And that's how the inning comes to it. Digging in and looking for more. Hank Gibbons. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Back up the middle. And a reach to his backhand side at second. But this finds a way by. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. Well, that single right there moves runners to first and third and less than two outs. And he's been throwing a terrific game. Shut out so far. But he's going to have to figure out some magic to wiggle out of this one. Still got the double play in order. Maybe he can roll that double play ball. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Batista has a read on it. He's there to make the catch. And here comes the runner from third as this should get him on the board. And he's safe.
Ready for another shot now. Jose Ramirez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. The center fielder, Tyler Nathan. Good fight to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Digging in to try it again. Danny Valencia. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Now he'll step off. Hey, like you can, like you can. Hey, he's trying to right back to the pitcher, huh, now? Popped up. Donaldson is there for it. And the inning is over. Stepping in and ready for another Kyle shot. Hattie. Hank Givens. Designated He's hitter. working on a three-hit ball game Givens. right now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ripped on the ground to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Digging in once again. Hank Givens. Designated hitter. Hank Givens. Right side hit hard. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. And they'll add another as this is now a 5 0 game. And he's able to get back in there at first safely. Now at the plate, Carlos Santana. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Carlos Santana. He's running towards second. This is popped up. Abreu is there for it. And that retires the side. Yeah, they could only manage two hits against him the entire game. So they were never really in a position to even challenge him. Rock solid win and a memorable performance. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Well, we've talked about his dominance all throughout the game, and he ended up finishing what he started. A complete game shutout. He's our tops player of the game. Final line score for our ball. Hey, game. when you base it.
Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch, let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. Now a moment here for the Indians' starting lineup. H, what's the key to them earning a World Series berth here in hostile territory? Tell you what, Matt, they got a great pitcher going, so it takes the pressure off the offense. You know you don't need five or six runs to win a game. You just scrape out a couple, and he's going to make it stand up. All right, here's how the Jays line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. Batting third, the designated hitter, Hank Given. Find a gap. Can't find a gap. Into the windup and the pitch. Chop foul wide of first. The windup and the 0 1. Hard hit ball to second. Travis has it. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. So not much happening. Coming to the plate now, Hank Givens comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Hey, get your pitch. Drive it right here. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Another one sent foul. Now another 0-2. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field. And you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as as it leaves your hand but guess what there are no delete or rewind buttons in there. ready for another right, shot right, now Hank let's go, let's go. Given as he's got a chance Hank. to tie this ball Given. game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third and there's ball four now so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk and the force at the plate is in order that's what's called getting the treatment everyone knows he's a power threat with the bat so it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you first baseman 
Here's Carlos Santana now. Head-to-head -head history with Marcus Stroman. He's gone three for eight. Has a look. Now the pitch. This is line to left. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And they get the force for the second out. And I'm not sure what that guy's doing out there as he gets forced out at third by an outfielder. Man alive. Jose Ramirez. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Indians forced to settle for one. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth, and we are tied 2-2. Two, two. Ready for another chance. Hank Givens comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Let's go now. One time. One time. First pitch on its way. Oh, high. Deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. No doubt an impressive home run, so we'll employ show. Digging in and looking for more. Hank Givens. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit well towards the hole. And that is through into right field for a single. So a productive start to the inning for the Tribe as their leadoff hitter is aboard. Well, there's another hit by him here in the postseason. You talk about impact players. This is how you impact the series, the way he's been swinging the bat. Hey, clutch up. Your turn right here. Digging in to try it again. Carlos, Carlos Santana. Santana. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Now the one and two pitch. Mine to the right side. But this is speared by the first baseman. Ready once again. Jose Ramirez. He flew out in his last at-bat. Jose Ramirez. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Swing and a line drive. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the... Stepping in and ready for another shot. Hank Givens. Already a pair of long balls on his line in this one. So we'll see what else he has in store here. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A leap, but he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential go-ahead run. And the throw in gets away from him. It's rare to hit a triple, but he's knocking on the door of history right now. In addition to that three-bagger, which is the hardest one to get, he already has a home run and a single. So if he gets a double next time up, he's going to have a cycle. And he missed with it there, ball four. It's a two-out walk with the runner still at third. Coming to the plate now, Jose Ramirez. He went down on strikes last time up. Now the one and two pitch. Hits slowly back to the mound. On to first, and the Triber held in check as the inning is over. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Hank Givens, great game for him so far. Four hits, including a couple of home runs. Ripped down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Digging in once again, Hank Givens. He's looking for hit number five in this one right here. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. Solo shot to right center. His third home run of the ball game.
Well, congratulations to them as they're now the American League champs. They're going to celebrate tonight, and then they're going to have to refocus for a run at the ultimate prize, the World Series trophy. Can't wait. Well, everyone was treated to a really well-played ball game in this one, and the guy you see there turned in a particularly notable performance, so he's our tops player of the game in this one. Well, he might be a little disappointed that he didn't complete the cycle, especially since he got two of the hardest ones out of the way. No double this time, but all in all, still a great offensive performance. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Flezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been the American League Championship Series. Score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cleveland Indians. Four runs. MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the World Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Cleveland Indians. Back now live as we count down to the start of game one. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. A chance now for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matt, facing a sinker baller, you got to think about get the ball up. What happens with the guy that throws a sinker? When you get it up, it straightens out. But when he's got that ball that starts about thigh high and starts to bite down on you, that's going to end up in the dirt. You're probably not going to be able to do anything with it. You go to the plate with the mindset of get that ball up. You set your focus on making bring that to the thigh high or up, and you got a chance to hit it when it straightens out. Batting third, designated hitter, Hank Given. Hey, wait for a good one and drive, and I'll pick one out. Here comes the first pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And this is past Adrian down the line, a fair ball. The relay, and he'll get in there safely. 
Yeah, some guys have the ability to rise the occasion, while some guys shrink away when it matters the most. Well, this guy is a gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started, and after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Batting fourth, first baseman, Carlos Santana. Hey, you like the can up there, huh? Second and third here, one man out. Hit the other way out toward right field. Ethier's there. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And the run will score as the Tribe strikes first to lead it 1-0. Got his job done there and made it look pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. Batting fifth, third baseman, Jose Ramirez. Runs up and gets this one down. Turner comes up with it. And he'll be thrown out at first. So that didn't go quite according to plan. And with it, the inning is over. Two hits in the inning lead to a run for Cleveland. Second inning coming up from Progressive Field. The Indians on top, one to nothing. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Hank Gibbons. Hank Gibbons. All right, come on now, one time. Let it fly. High set by Kershaw. Now the pitch. He pulls this one into right. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that run will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Looked like he was sitting on the hard stuff right there. Stayed right on it. Stayed with it. Hard line drive. Great game plan. Here's Carlos Santana now. He hit a sack fly earlier. Carlos Santana. Come on, baby, get your pitch up there. The 0-1 on its way. Hit hard on the ground to second. Kipnis has it. On to first, and the Tribe are held in check as the inning is over. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Digging in and looking for more. Hank Givens. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Lined hard toward right center. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. The relay. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. The 0-2 home. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. In the score, the runner from third. Well, that run won't be charged against him, but he's still disappointed. His job is to shut the door down when they call on him, and he just couldn't get it done there. Riding in once again, Jose Ramirez. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Runners at the corners, two men out. Come on, baby, square it up. Swing and a liner. 
A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And the run is in to score from third. Well, he got jammed. It's not going to look pretty when you talk to him about it. But, man, in the box scores, he picks up the RBI and keeps his team pushing forward. Digging in once again, Hank. Hank. Givens, three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. This is pulled into right, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, what a night for him. He's now four for four with that base hit. Ready for another chance? Carlos Santana. Baseman, He's one for 41. two in the ball game. Carlos Santana. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch to right field and way out of here. Look at this thing go. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Wow, that's what a pitcher gets for not putting what he thought was a bad call in the rear. Ready for another shot now. now Hank uh, Givens. And he's trying to make this Hank a five-hit ball Gibbons. game for himself right here. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. In there, and it's 0-2 oh, now. Matt, he's thrown two pitches right down the middle and got away with them. I don't think he should go back there again, but he's got to locate a little bit better if he wants to put him away. This guy's too good a hitter. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. Digging in, Carlos Santana. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Santana. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. One left for the tribe, and it remains an 11 to 2 ball game. And welcome back to our MLB Network broadcast from Progressive Field in Cleveland, Ohio. And if you're looking for what this game was decided, that's pretty easy. It was the big fourth inning. That was the big turning point, and they made it stand up the rest of the way. Well, this one pretty much over before it started as we give you a final look at the line score here in what turned out to be a blowout victory. And, fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our tops player of the game. And, Maddie, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background. He was brilliant in this one, and this is some well-earned recognition. 11-2 is the way this ball game Final ends. The ball. Indians.